Okay, so your face won't melt off like an Indiana Jones, but looking directly at the eclipse is not risk-free. It's only safe to view the total eclipse without a filter in a 70-mile band called the Zone of Totality, when the moon entirely blocks the sun for a few moments. A total solar eclipse is about as bright as the full moon and is one of nature's most awe-inspiring sights. But if you mess up, you can really damage your eyes. When you stare at the partial eclipse unprotected, even for a moment, ultraviolet light blisters your cornea, the transparent outer layer of your eye. It's a lot like a sunburn. At the time, you won't feel pain. But a few hours later, your eyes get watery and feel like you rub them with fine grit sandpaper. This is called photokeratitis, and if exposure is brief, it'll last about 36 hours. Stare much longer and it can damage retinal tissue known as the macula, which is responsible for most of what you see. That damage could be reversible after a few months or a year or so. But if the damage is bad enough, it could create a permanent black dot in your field of vision, as though you're looking at the eclipse all the time. So, if you want to see the eclipse, but not forever, be sure to follow professional safety tips. Don't think you can get away with it by squinting or wearing five pairs of sunglasses. Looking at the sun through a pair of binoculars or telescope without the proper filter is probably the worst thing you can do, even if you're wearing eclipse glasses. Just like a magnifying glass can fry an ant, the focused rays of the sun can cook your eyes, potentially causing permanent blindness. It can be tempting to look at a partial eclipse, but if you don't have the right equipment, it's best to follow the advice of good old Indiana Jones.